It's beer o'clock on Real Ale Craft Beer. Today we've got a beer from Wensleydale Brewery. This brewery have been producing terrific beer. Um, it was kindly sent to me by my good friend and former master brewer, Don Jeffrey. And yeah, this is their Scar American Pale Ale. Now Don has been popping by this brewery and giving them a hand when he can. Uh, it's a 5% ABV American Pale Ale with Mosaic, Galena and Amarillo. 440 milliliter can. Let's get the beer out into a glass and see what we get. Nice bit of smoke on the can opening. Beer in the glass. So we got a two to three finger white head, slightly off white head if I'm going to be really pinpoint with my colouring. Nice levels of carbonation, it's a hazy amber coloured ale, unfiltered, <clears throat> looks good. Let's get the aroma on this one. superb i've had some of the wensleydale like their core cool range of beers uh the sema water sema water as they called it sema water i thought it was a tremendous tremendous lovely pale ale and then they had another one which was a bitter um can't blooming remember the name of the beer now, but it was a terrific thing. If you know Wensleydale Brewery, they do a really good bitter. It's about 4.1% ABV. It was tremendous beer. It really was. The aroma is is punchy. It's 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 fruit bowl punch, summer punch. A bit of kiwi fruit and papaya, mango, tangerine, orange peel. Lovely soft fruits mixed with peels. Harder, more citrusy, pithy, orange peel and lemon peel. Smells terrific. I mean, absolutely smells terrific. Let's let's dive into this one. Cheers, everybody. Oh. Oh, that's good. That is really, really good. Real zesty, grapefruity, peppery and spicy. I was having the first sip of the beer and I was thinking, oh, there's something in here that I've slightly kind of, I can't put my finger on it but it's a peppery kind of spiciness in it. That's lovely. It's an American pale ale. So there's a nice amount of bitterness on the back end. It really has that kind of, dare I say it, slightly old fashioned now, American style bitterness that's coming through. Now, when I say American style bitterness, I'm talking pre 2015 before all of these juice bombs come out where they were putting hops in the fermenter and they were becoming far more juicy New England style IPAs and pale ales. That seems to be where everybody has set their barometers now. That's where everybody wants to go with, with brewing beer. But I, I, I still like bitterness. I love all of these New England IPAs. I love all of these New England pale ales. All those soft beers that are incredibly drinkable and they fly down. 
but I still like the pre-2015 big smashing bitter beers. I mean, this is not massively bitter. It's not crazy beer. Cri sorry, cri it's not crazy bitter, but it has that level of bitterness that, that you can really call it an American pale ale pre-2015. A builder, now my house is on the street, it's an old fashioned terraced house. If you're watching from around the world, my house literally, you open the front door, you're on the street. So my front window backs onto a street. Uh, they're doing building work across the road in one of the houses. Um, poor old lady died in there and she hadn't done any work on the house for a million years. And they'd like ripping walls down and they put in RSJs in. Bit, bit, what I, bit like what I've done here um, to, the, to this place. But one of the builders just walked past the window and just looked in my window like this. Can you imagine that? Can you imagine somebody coming up to your window and doing this? I don't know what he wanted, but he's seen I had a beer in my hand and he's seen me talking to a camera and he's, he's gone away now. He's like, what the, what's that guy doing standing in his conservatory with a, with a beer at 9.50 in the morning? <laughs> And that's the thing, I've mentioned it lots. That's the thing we're living in the terraced area. There's all sorts of noise. Good, goodness knows what that noise was. Who knows? That banging noise out there then, or that, that like someone blowing a horn. Anyway, back to the beer then. <laughs> slightly slightly sidetracked by front window and noise out the back. lovely it's nicely carbonated it's very drinkable it's very refreshing there's a little bit of sweet malt to begin with there's a lovely bitterness on the back end it's a terrific beer it really is really really is now um, let's give it a bit of a read uh two worlds collide dales meets dallas what do we have in common we both love an american pale ale using the best yorkshire malt to give the slightest hint of toasted sweetness and dry hop with some of the big guns from the US to give a fruity citrus pine nose. There they go again. Um, water, malted barley, wheat, oats, hops and yeast. Um, their contact details. Uh, it's Wensleydale Brewery. Inquiries at wensleydalebrewery.co.uk. They're on Facebook as Wensleydale Brewery. Twitter is Wensleydale underscore ale and Instagram, Wensleydale underscore brewery. Um, for me, one of the finds of 2022, this brewery, every single beer that I've had from them have been pretty tremendous. Pretty tre tremendous. Now, um, Ska, can you put a comment in the comments box below? Ska, that sounds like a big rock in Wensleydale. Is that some kind of giant hill or mountain or is it Scar Rock? Let me know in the comments box. Why is it called Scar? What does Scar mean in the local area of Wensleydale? I'd love to know. Um, but I'm ready to rate this. I am ready to rate this. It looks tremendous. It smells tremendous and it tastes tremendous. I like it enough to give it a stone the crows 9 out of 10. So 9 out of 10 from Real Ale Craft Beer. Please put your comments in the comments box. Subscribe to our daily beer and food reviews. Give us a big fat thumbs up. Boom. Cheers.